No close ups. <laughs> <laughs> Today we are here to learn a little bit how to do drag good. <laughs> Today we're just here to expand your horizons, open your mind, and get a little bit creative. This is Evie's Odd School. I'm gonna show you how I made some of my favorite little knickknacks and my little tricks of the trade. And we're also here to just find out who am I? <laughs> I believe that even if you win $100,000 in a crown, there's always something you can be doing to push yourself creatively. So I'm here to discover what I can now do at this next level. Unlike regular school, I won't make you fall asleep and I won't fail you just because you masturbate in the back of the classroom. <laughs> Today we're gonna be giving a little bit of insight on my personal favorite look from the show, the jellyfish. She actually has a long, deep Game of Thrones-like history. The first time I turned the jellyfish was for an animal week challenge in this competition that I used to judge back home in Denver. And so I was just like thinking about all the different animals that we've turned, like cats. And I really wanted to stray away from that. I had seen some jellyfish-like umbrellas hanging at the club. I just stole one, painted it blue, and then learned how to make it on my own. Welcome to the workshop, welcome to the craft corner. I like this metal table because something tells me that there's been at least one cadaver on it. <laughs> so for this delicate little craft today, you're going to need the most expensive things in the world. Trash bags. I stole mine from work personally. <laughs> you're going to need to spray paint and you're going to need skizzers. Also, just some tape. Tape is good for everything. I don't think you're ready for this jelly mama. So to start out, you're gonna wanna take one bag, two bags, three bags. It depends on how much of your taint you're not trying to show to Michelle. A nice basic trash bag. She has no life. She could never be an outfit, right? Wrong! She will be an outfit. And you're going to tape it to a surface just at the corners. And then you're gonna take some scissors and we're just gonna start hacking this thing apart. So first you start by cutting a little incision where it closes. But the first cut you're gonna make is right across the bottom. You're just gonna cut a little corner of it so that there's a tiny hole in the bottom of your trash bag and you can just pull it apart all the way across the bottom. It's okay if the ends are messy because jellyfish, they don't have sharp edges. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scissors again and we're gonna turn this into strips of jellyfish. You could have a nice thin tentacle, or you can have a really thick tentacle. In this episode, I think is the first time the queens actually started to take me seriously. Cause that first day we get there, like everyone's just scared shitless. So it's not until like the second day when you've already survived and already had to wave goodbye to somebody that I think everyone starts getting in the flow. And for me, that just meant pulling out all of my crazy odd stops and showcasing my, my literal favorite creation. And so I knew when I put it on, the other girls would be like, oh my God, I've never seen anything like that. But I didn't know whether or not they'd like it. However, after they all saw me like paint my ass pink, it was sold. It was sold. <laughs> In my head, I could already hear Michelle being like, oh, I love that your like face is pink, but why is your ass brown? And so I like went ham, I narrowed my whole everything. It burned. <laughs> oh, it burned so good. If you're not burning, you're not doing drag. Apply more nair. <laughs> <laughs> So, after step one, you should have yourself nice strips like that. <laughs> so you're gonna grab pretty near to the center of your strips. You're just gonna pull so hard, and sometimes it snaps, but it's okay. Sometimes we all snap and you just have to get back up and apologize. And then you wanna move up a few inches and repeat the process and pull it again until you have a single jellyfish tentacle. And if you don't like how thick it is, you can always 
play with it a little. You have to do this motion though, otherwise it doesn't work. I don't know why. <laughs> you know what's funny is I actually don't think I'm that weird. Like I know I was quoted every episode as saying, I'm so weird. But that was only because I was in that context. Like if you stick me in a room with a bunch of tens, of course I'm gonna be like, I'm a nine and a half in the other direction. Like I only actually even came up with the name Evie Audley because everyone back home kept calling me weird during my performances. And this was like in my baby queen days when I was like, I don't need to wear eyelashes because I already have some on my face. Like all of that BS excuse time. So I was like doing basic ass drag and sparkly body suits doing nothing. And people were still like, you're so weird. Oh, I love it when you break yourself in half on stage. Oh, so gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, mama. I think it's ready for some paint. So you wanna make sure you finish all of this before you paint because this paint is like bullshit. And if you try and stretch your bags out after, it'll all just crumble and fall off. So I'm actually gonna take this and attach it to a surface. And then starting at the base, you're just gonna lightly and go down. The first time I was ever in drag. I think my first time was in high school with my mom. She wanted to dress up as like Flava Flav or some pimp character. I was like, oh, I should dress up as a dead hooker. It'd be so funny and it would piss our grandma off so much. And it did. She was so angry. And for some reason that like just brought me so much joy. I was like, oh, I can do this forever. So much so that when I finally moved out of the house, graduated high school, the first Halloween I got out, I decided to bring out the dead hooker again. And I had even more fun because my like six foot two ass was walking downtown looking crusty. And I still had cars like honking at me and being like, yeah, oh, I want to take you home. And that's when I knew, I knew what my life calling was. <laughs> and after several hours, you should be surrounded with a house full or hopefully an outside full, do it in a well-ventilated area of grotesque jelly tendrils. You need to let them dry so that they don't stick together. And then we can start using them to make things. So for example, this one is going to be an arm gauntlet. And then just like wrap it around instead of taping it again because I'm lazy. I always just tie them. And the best part about these being trash bags is that if you want like a simple skirt, you just open it up and step in. But I like to do it in layers on my skin itself. That way I can just take it off piece by piece and reuse it. Like I made this, this $2 look last for two years so far by just taping it in the right places. The one I wore on the show, I wore three times. And now, even though she's jelly, she's serving all fish, mama. She's serving body. She's serving plastic. <laughs> <laughs> That's a jellyfish, mama. I'm here to teach you that you can take risks, that you can mess up, and that you can still look fabulous. Doing things like a little off the beaten path. Don't, don't write that trash off. That trash could be your next, your next glamorous outfit. That trash could be your next boyfriend, who knows? And remember, stay in school, kids. And if you don't, at least watch this show. Because if you don't, I will find you. <laughs> <laughs>